Uh, let's see. All right, so we're gonna give it a little bit of gas. Oh, I don't want to fire at the aircraft carrier. Sorry, boys. Uh, hopefully somebody wasn't in front of me. Oh, I'm getting shot at. No, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, let's go ahead. Get the throttle up. Now, oh. <laughs> dang it! I really thought I was gonna get out ahead. Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys a, another episode of Simple Planes. And yes folks, we are back once again, and there has been a huge update to Simple Planes. And I'm actually really, really excited to jump back into this. So the update itself, it really focuses on two things. The main focus is going to be on helicopters, which me and helicopters do not get along in Simple Planes. I've never really been able to really fly them. But supposedly, this adds some really awesome helicopter parts, so we're going to try some out. Now, also what we have here today, and let me swing around here and let you guys see it. The USS Beast has received an update, and this thing finally functions like an actual aircraft carrier. Uh, there's a catapult system on the front of it, there's the elevators on the side, uh, there's actual cabling for arresting hooks on, uh, say, this plane here to be able to land it. Like, it's actually a legit working aircraft carrier now. It's no longer just a, hey, maybe you can land on this and hopefully not fly off the other end. Because check this out. Oh, let me go ahead and activate it on this plane. Boom, there's a little hook under there that's our resting hook. And uh, we could totally grab the cable and try to land on the uh, aircraft carrier here. So, we're going to do a little mixture of everything here today. We're going to go over the update. I might actually even build a plane because... I'm wondering, can Komodo build a plane that can actually land and take off from an aircraft carrier? We'll have to see. Alright, so let's go ahead and swing in here. Let's go ahead and kill some speed. I'm coming in at a terrible angle, by the way. Uh, this is a, uh, I think it's called the Sky Knight. It's old Vietnam uh, aircraft. Uh, hold on, let's go ahead and try to level out here. I should probably do this maybe from cockpit, maybe? I don't know. Let's go through our views here. Don't like that. Oh, definitely not that. Uh... Yeah, chase view it is. All right. Can Komodo catch one of the hooks here? I think there's like three or four hooks. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, lose some speed. Lose some speed. Don't nose it. Don't nose it. Okay, looking for a hook. Ooh, come on. Grab a hook. Grab a hook. Got it. <laughs> yes. I'm going to go ahead and admit that's the first time that's actually worked. I've tried this two other times beforehand. Uh, once I hit the aircraft carrier, the other one I belly flopped and exploded. So... Komodo actually grabbed the hook there, and that's how that works. <laughs> that is sweet. Like, yes, I've been waiting for that for a long time. Actually, there's more than three hooks. Check that out. It's that four hooks. You can see the little uh, little white squares on the side, and there's a cable that runs across. And uh, we actually caught the first cable, surprisingly. So, that's how you uh, land on an aircraft carrier. Probably wasn't a great landing, but still, nonetheless, not bad. So, let's go over the catapult system here. You know, we might be able to do this from here. If I were to release the resting hook, does it drop the cable? Oh, it does. Sweet. All right. Uh-oh. Okay, hit the air brakes. So, uh, it's really cool, this plane. We can actually fold it up if we want to and, uh, I guess set it under deck. Now, the thing is, I think there's an empty area under there, which is pretty cool. Now, one thing you have to do, you do have to unlock the catapult area. So, just basically spawn in the normal area and just kind of drive your plane over to the catapult. It'll unlock it. Uh, I don't know if it's the same way for the elevators. I might go actually drive on top of those. But uh, basically, how to hook this thing up. And uh, you have to have a certain part on here. I don't even know what the part looks like. Uh, it's just a little indicator for the game to know where to hook the catapult up. Uh, we'll probably go over it in the builder. But uh, to do this, and I'm already... Uh, ooh, I'm at a terrible angle. Uh, let's go ahead and fold the wings down. Uh, this thing doesn't actually start uh, going until you have those completely folded down on this craft. Uh, let's see. All right, so we're gonna give a little bit of gas. Oh, I don't want to fire at the aircraft carrier. Sorry, boys. Uh, hopefully somebody wasn't in front of me. Oh, I'm getting shot at. No, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I'm just trying to get on the cat. Hold on, get to the catapult. Get to the catapult. So the catapult is really forgiving. Like, you don't have to be exactly lined up with it. Uh, all you have to do is get in the area about right here, and a new indicator came up on the bottom of the screen. Click that. There we go. It hooks us in. Uh, let's go ahead get the throttle up now oh. <laughs> dang it I really thought I was gonna get out ahead uh, all right let's reset it let's try to make it uh, look a little more proper this time all right here we go we're not under fire this time so it should be good K 
Can we run through these little circles? I don't know if we can or can't. I'm going to try to run through one. I don't know if they have a collision box on them. Uh, that's where the cables go out. Do they? Uh, I don't believe so. All right, so what we're going to do, uh, we're just going to try to pull up. Now, this isn't hardcore like DCS world where you have to be like right on the catapult and lined up. Uh, this is pretty forgiving, like I said. So we're going to pull up here. Okay. Oh, might want to slow down a bit. All right. Almost there. So indicator just popped up. So we're going to hook in. Okay. So it kind of just spawns you uh, over on the actual hook. Or the... I shouldn't say hook. It's a catapult. Uh, but yeah, uh, we're on... Actually, I guess the catapult... Like, you don't actually see it hooked in. Or you don't see it on the wheel or anything. Like, it's just kind of there. So I don't know what that part looks like. Uh, we'll have to see. But what we're going to do here, uh, as soon as you click this button by the gear button, it will launch you. So you might want to apply some throttle. There we go. Throttling up. All right. We're ready to launch, boys. Three, two, one. Let's do this. Oh, Ooh, that was a, a little rough, but nonetheless, not bad. All right. Let's go and landing gear up. And we are ready for combat operations. That is awesome. Like, I can't tell you how excited I am just to play with the carrier. Uh, this is something the game desperately needed. I'm actually really happy to see this game still getting updated like that because that's huge. Very huge update. But yeah, very cool. Uh, definitely want to make a plane that might be able to launch from that. I'm not going to make anything like this. Like This actually looks pretty awesome. Uh, very, very well equipped. Got a couple bombs on it, four Guardian missiles. But yeah, maybe we'll make something somewhat okay. We'll have to see. Now, the other part of the update, which we're going to go check out. Actually, there's a third part I should mention. Uh, there's a new uh, piece also that is a magnet that you can actually tow stuff now. So say if you have like a vehicle and you have like a big Chinook or something and you want to tow uh, maybe a vehicle, that'll be uh, something that you can do now too. But let's go check out the helicopters. Question is, can Komodo fly them now? Uh, probably not. All right, folks. Welcome to the new and improved helicopter pieces. So it actually like looks legit. Like this is a really awesome looking helicopter. This is actually a Huey. Uh, kind of looks like we're in Vietnam right now. So the question is, can Komodo actually fly it? Uh, that, yeah, it's a big time question. All right, so let's go ahead. Oh, oh, okay. Check that out. Oh man, I was always so terrible at doing these. All right, so it feels pretty good. It feels actually really, really stable. So I'm assuming if I were to start to move here, there we go. All right, she's carrying forward. Check that out. Oh, that's sweet. Hold on, let's look inside. What's the interior look like? Uh, you got some dials and stuff here. Hey, I got a co-pilot. We're going to call him Bob. Uh, do we have a gunner in the back? Actually, question is, what was the gun on the inside that they hang out the door? Was it a 30 cal? Or was it a 50? I'm not really sure. I'm pretty sure somebody way more educated can actually answer that. Oh, is this the gun here? Hold on, I think we can deploy this. So we hit two. Check that out. We got the gun out the side. Can I aim this gun? I'm pretty sure there is a way to do it, but... Yep, it does fire. Oh, it's loud, too. Uh-oh, what was that? What was that? Oh, hold on, get that flyby. There we go. All right. Let's get back in the cockpit here, or the chase view. That is awesome. All right, let's go ahead and start to turn here. Yeah, this just feels, it feels a whole lot better. Oh, you can move the gun. Oh, it's kind of cool. All right, so let's just put that back in. All right, so what does this do over here? Is this the, it's a little bit of a tilt. I don't know, I'm trying to get used to the way this all feels. Oh, that's what's wrong. I was about to say, I was feeling something weird going on with the, uh, the helicopter. I think the door broke on this side. It's a little strange. So, question is, would Komodo be ready for any sort of combat operations? I got two rockets. So, just whoop. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Why did that not deploy? Uh-oh. You know, I think I think I broke this. Huh? Try the other one. Wait, are those rockets for boost, or is that... What is that? Oh, maybe I'm completely confused by that. Okay, maybe that's for a boost. It's not going to explode now, is it? I don't know. I don't know actually a lot about the Huey. I just know I like the body style. Uh, but yeah, there's definitely something freaking out here. I think we might have glitched something. Uh, look at that. Dual miniguns. That is awesome. Oh, yes. We could totally probably take out a convoy with this. Now, why does it sound like we're losing some sort of engine power? 
And what what are the other keys here? Let's go and start hitting those. Uh, okay. Oh, that dumps those rockets out. Okay, well that's a weird thing. Huh. That's sweet though. I, I really like that. Now I've got one more helicopter we're gonna actually look at. Uh, it's got the magnets on it. I don't know if there's anything we can use it for. Maybe we can spawn in a vehicle or something. But I'm kind of curious how it looks too. And then I think we're gonna go over to the builder after this. So check this beast out. <laughs> look at that. Actually gives you a little bit better look at those new parts too. That is gorgeous. All right, so this is like a big, uh, we'll call it a sky crane. It's I think it's called the HL9, I believe. But ooh, ooh, look at that. So you got the winching system here. Those are the magnets. So I think we can just drop those pretty easy, huh? Let's go ahead and take off real quick. Holy man, that's got a lot of power. That is cool. I like that sound too. It sounds really nice. All right, so um, I know one activates magnets but I don't think that lowers them. I'm assuming maybe the lower could be on the side here. Hold on, let's adjust these, there it is. All right, so that would make the winch go down and then one would activate those. You can hear that noise when it activates the uh, the magnets there. It's a loud helicopter, by the way. How far does that go down? It's still going, like what is the stopping point here? Uh, nope, it wasn't that. So if I stop it, okay, that retracts it, so. What if I were to go to this notch here? I don't know, at some point it does stop. So question is, can I spawn something else in? Let me try spawning. I'm pretty sure I have a vehicle here. Maybe I'll spawn in an AI, just a car down below us and maybe we can try to grab it or something. All right, so we're spawning in a little truck down below us. So question, oh, he's gonna move. You serious? Ding dong, come back here. I want to pick you up. Come to me. Uh oh, okay, okay. This thing flies a little different than I thought it would, huh? Does that tilt those forward? There we go. I mean, I'm sure this works 100%. It's uh, getting the AI to not move. Is there a button to tell it to not move? <laughs> not sure if there is or isn't. Yeah. Okay, there he goes. He's, he's starting to stop. Okay, on, on, on. Let's uh, lean back, lean back. Uh, hold on, I'm going to turn these on. That way, if we could just try to catch him. Ooh, hopefully that doesn't grip to the ground. That would be very bad. Oh, oh, no, 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 we broke the magnet. My bad, my bad. Oh, there goes Mr. Trophy Truck off in the distance. He decided he was going to go off the cliff too. <laughs> so, I mean, you get what happens here. Like, obviously, I don't know if there's any new missions, but I've seen people like carry crates and uh, vehicles that don't actually run away from you you can carry those too so that, that definitely is a thing but i have to see if there's any missions but i really want to actually get on a building because it's something i haven't done in a long time but that is a for the most part that's about it as far as the major points of the update besides the actual builder itself and the parts so let's go over there all right here we are back in the builder so i've actually pulled out my first jet i kind of forgot this is something that i built on one of the early episodes i'm gonna go ahead and take its weapons off real quick uh, it's been so long since i built so i almost have to study it a little bit to see exactly how i did everything so i see inlets does it seem like this thing sets really really high off the ground with the uh, landing gear that it's got on there I don't wonder if we can maybe shorten those. So as far as the new pieces that we should be looking at, oh, let's go down. Uh, this is all structural. Uh, propulsion's probably gonna be one. Yeah, there's all your new uh, heli rotors and stuff like that. Uh, anything new down here? This all looks pretty much the same. Except I don't remember the car engine for some reason. I'm pretty sure the car engine's always been there. Uh, let's see, I guess maybe gizmos? There's cameras, beacon lights, shocks. I could probably just overhaul this thing real quick. Okay, there's your catapult connector. This is something that we need. I don't get how... So if I have this up in the front, is it just going to want to connect in the front? Or does it need to be down somewhere else? I don't know. We'll set that there. Do I even have air brakes on this? I don't know what I even have on this. I should probably take it out for a test flight before I arm it and all that other good stuff. Uh, let's see, another thing that I need, uh, let's see, it should be around here somewhere. I uh, might have missed it. I need that, uh, a resting hook. There it is, it's under landing gear. So, the other one, it kind of deployed out on the side. Hold on, let's center the view real quick, but, 
Let me think. I guess we would want it on the back, would we not? So let's get a resting hook. Uh, ooh. Oh. Actually, that might work right there. All right, so it'll lower down. The other one was on the side, so I'm assuming you can customize this a little bit. This landing gear assembly, like, this is really bugging me. This just doesn't look right. To me, it seems like it's way too high up. Did I use the large ones? Maybe that's what I use. There's your rears. Uh, can we just shorten these a little bit? That'd be kind of neat. I don't know if we can or can't. They just look like they set so high up off the ground. It, it could just be the structure or the body of the airplane that sets really far off the ground. Okay, kind of reshaping the front here. Let's go ahead and make that over there. Right, get your inlets. Uh, landing gear, I'm not really, uh, I'm not really sure if I'm satisfied where that is. I'm thinking maybe we can move it a little bit. Maybe we'll move it a little forward. Uh, let's make sure it's right here in the center. It's kind of jumpy. What about, can I put it in the aircraft a bit more? I don't know, to me it just, it sets really high off the ground. I could be just mistaken. There we go. Gave a little more pointed look here. I'm debating if I want to change the nose up any. I think it's actually okay. There we go. All right, so we got the new arresting hook on there. We've got the catapult, which I'm still not really understanding that piece. We'll have to see. And, uh, oh, you know what? Can I, can I move this? Oh, you know, I need to make this landing gear turnable. Let's go ahead and turn that to yes. And uh, maybe we can, uh, I don't know if we can lower that. I kind of really wish there was a lower button. All right, so here we are on the beast. You know, I really probably should put some air brakes on this thing. Uh, so the question is, does it actually... Oh, okay, it does turn. Oh, that front wheel actually turns really well. All right, so air brakes is probably going to be a must. I mean, it does have normal wheel brakes, but yeah, I can't believe I that's something I missed when I first built this thing. All right, let's go ahead and pull it up. Let's see if that little hook tool actually works here, because I don't know if I did that right or not. Like, it doesn't seem like it has to be really low. Hold on, go boom. Really? That works? Okay. That's kind of weird. All right. Let's go ahead, fire it up here. Get ready to launch. Three, two, one, launch. Okay, pull up. Oh, I might have uh, actually uh, went down in acceleration there for a second. There we go. Ah, yes. This is the one thing that I had that actually flew decent. Remember, I had tried a bunch of other things. I actually reshaped it a little bit. I'm a little bit happier with the shape. Paint job is just my old channel colors. Never got around to actually painting it, like, legit. Uh, let's go and fire that. Minigun does work. Sweet. Should be offset a little bit. That's cool. All right, so question is, did I actually do the arresting hook? Uh, okay, so it does work. All right, so arresting hook does go down with one. All right, let's turn here, and let's see. Oh, this thing turns really fast. I forgot. Uh, let's go ahead and put that landing gear down real quick. Uh, let's line ourselves up. Let's go ahead and stick that arresting hook down. That way I don't have to worry about it. So I'm uh, wrestling with the camera right now, so give me a second. All right, here we go. Start slowing it down. I forgot how quick and nimble this thing turned. So I, I got to be sure to not actually, like, overcorrect this. Uh, uh, oh, coming in a little, little sideways here. Oh, man. This is where air brakes would really be nice. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Catch a hook, catch a hook. Okay, let's abort landing. All right. Yeah, I really need to be able to slow myself down in air. Like, that is, that's bad. That's dangerous for an aircraft carrier. Big runway, I would have been okay. Little one, not so much. All right, let's keep the hook down. All right, here we are, lined up once again. We're gonna glide our way in. Okay, looking pretty okay. Pretty okay, okay. Ooh, let's get it low, low, low. Okay, catch, 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 catch. Ooh, there we go, got one. <laughs> that was not pretty. Uh, which one did we catch? Uh, oh, we still caught the first one. I really thought we caught one of the later ones. Well, we did it. <laughs> we landed on the aircraft. That is so awesome. Like, this carrier really needed an overhaul, and I'm actually really happy we see it here. I don't know what's happening here. I should probably apply the brakes. There we go. It's perfectly fine. So, anyways, that's the uh, new update here in Simple Planes. We might bring some more of this back to the channel. If you guys have any ideas for future Simple Planes episodes, comment below. Uh, thank you guys for the love and support on this series. You guys are awesome, and we will see you guys next time.